Hi everyone, it's Kate from Isalicious Designs and today I'm going to show you, I, I got something in the mail and um, I've been asked to um, have a play with a prototype uh, loom made by Rainbow Loom, Tunes Designs and it's a finger loom and I must admit I got it and, and there were no instructions with it and I was like oh my goodness what on earth do I do with this um, it looked very confusing and then I suddenly realized well this is a spot that you can actually when you made your bracelet you can pop it on here to stop it from sort of falling off wherever so what a great idea that is and also there's one on the other side as well so you can just sort of keep things safe without uh, dropping your bands and then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, well, a finger loom, am I supposed to put it on my finger and put the put the bands around? Because if I do that, how are the bands going to go down? And then, light bulb moment, I realise that you use your fingers instead of your hook to actually do the looping. You don't stuff your finger through, which is really sensible because, I mean, my finger's quite chubby. It, it doesn't really fit very well imagine if you're a great big man or something like that it would be quite uh, quite difficult so I thought I can do this it's only got four little pegs and compared to the monster tail that's how big it is so it's really nifty and and these I mean these are quite difficult to you you wouldn't be able to do that with your fingers whereas these are nice and big and wide and even I can do it so I was having a bit of a play around and I decided I wanted to see if I could use beads with it and sure enough I made a little beaded bracelet I believe this is sort of like a little uh, a chain either side with the ladder so I mean I'm not obviously the uh, the original creator of this design um, I'm not quite sure who is but uh, yes you can make it on the finger loom so I thought I mean this is an incy one um, and I thought I would show you how to make it. I'm only going to make a small one because otherwise we'll be here all day. But you can make it as long as you want. You're not restricted by the length of a loom. You just keep going and going and going. So let's get started. What I'm going to first of all do is take a single band and I'm going to pop it on here like this. And we're going to twist it into a figure eight like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take another one and pop it the other side into a figure eight. Okay, so I've got two crosses, two figure eights here. So next I'm going to place a single here on these two pegs and a single here on these two pegs. I'm going to put another single here and another single here. Here. So you've effectively got three bands on each. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is using my finger, no hook, lift this bottom band up over the top on each of them and push down. How simple is that? I thought it was absolutely fabulous. Okay. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to um, be using I'm going to do these in groups of three so I'm going to prepare how many bands I have to do because I'm going to be doing an orange and black bracelet I thought that'd be a bit Halloweeny all right so I'm going to have two 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 and another two so four pair okay now what I'm going to do to start with is we, we'll put our first bead on take your band now these are just normal pony, pony beads so you don't actually need anything to thread them through you can just poke them through with your finger as you can see I've got this side and this side can you see how there's a gap either side here so I'm going to be working on this side and this side they're two separate sides to the bracelet this side and this side okay and then the the um, bead is going to go in the middle so these are my two sides these two and these two and you can see they're sort of like little kidney shaped beans here either side so to do a, a bead I'm going to link the two sides of my band the two chains I'm going to link them with the bead going across the two of them so here's my two sides I'm going to link my bead across so I'm going to put one that side and one that side 
but to keep sure, make sure that it's even I'm going to put another band here okay just to keep that all even take the bottom band and lift it over I have to say I, I was very confused at first and I was like wow I love it now again look for where you've got the bands here and the bands here so now you know there's no bands bunched up in the middle here no bands bunched up so this is one side this is two side we're going to put a single band one side and a single band the other side lift up and over and make sure that we've got our bands in the right order not sure that one was let's put that back if in doubt check yes I took the wrong one so this one up and over and push down and then we're going to do another pair so it's three pair there's our second pair and again you can see I'm just putting one on this side and one on this side move them up and over up and over push down here's our last pair see it's quite handy to have them sitting there waiting for me and put those on like that up and over up and over up and over up and over now it's time to put our next orange bead on so I'm going to go one pair two pair and three pair but I need a pair to do my bead so it's four pair so let's take one band and squeeze that through like that now we're going to again remember I said we link these two over so this is one side this is the second side again you can tell because there's no bands bunching up either side here whereas there are here so we're going to take our band with our bead on it and stretch it across one of the pegs to join them to join the two sides see how we've got this one joining the two sides then the other band goes the other side to join the two sides okay then we take the bottom one up and over up and over up and over up and over and push down now we have our three pair to do make sure that you're working on your sides so this is my one side and this is the other side isn't it cute how easy would this be to fit in your handbag or on a car journey where you you can't you know you don't have much space no hooks required love it so push everything down our last pair for this side now when you find that it's sort of budging out to the bottom here grab the bands and just pull it out like that you've got the little X here at the bottom you just pull that out and you can see how it's beginning to form like that alright we're ready for our next our next bead so let's get our four pair there's one pair two pair three pair and our fourth pair for the actual bead so let's thread our bead there we go we've got to marry up the two sides so there's, whoopsie one side and two sides and let's put one the other way going the other way as well like that and now let's lift over that bottom band on each of the pegs now we move to our three three pair so we've got this side here and 
this side here. Now you can just keep going and make this as long as you want, really. Just doing your three pair, and then a bear, then a bead, and three pair and a bead. Isn't that cute? Look at that. And tickle pink. And you can push the beads through either side, it doesn't really matter. Love it. Let's do another set. One, two, three, and some for the beads. Poke your band through, make sure that you're crossing over the pegs, joining them together. So there's one set. And if you didn't do this, it would just be that you've got two chains that weren't linked in any way, so it would look a bit odd. Oops. Isn't it the cutest little loom? Okay, so there's one side. Always check that you've got the sides correct because otherwise you're going to mess it up. And you can tell because these are open. All right. So I'm going to do this, but I'm going to fast forward the video. So I'm going to be doing this in double speed so that you don't end up getting extremely bored with me. So I'll stop talking and let's keep looming until we've done all our beads. I think I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do, I've got 11 there, but we can do 10, whatever. Set your next ones out.
Now I'm going to finish quite close to the end where this bead is because I've started quite close with a bead. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about all of those, but what I am going to do is put one across this way and one across this way. Across. I'm going to take these two and place them on this peg and then take the bottom two bands up and over and I'm going to work my way around like that take the bottom two up and over and then these two hey come here you <laughs> there we go the bottom two up and over take my creation off my loom I can pull that into a slip knot and on the other side I have the cross that I here we go there's my little cross that I started with which is right there so what I would do is attach both sides to a clip of sorts now it could be a C clip it can be an S clip. I personally prefer, and I will show you, I use these which are Q clips, and I have to say I do prefer them, I find them safer. The Q clip, if you can see, locks into itself here, and uh, I I prefer that, especially if you're going to be selling your creations. You don't want somebody to take it home and tell you that uh, it's all come unraveled. So with the Q-clip, you put both ends in, you clip it into place like so. But if you don't have Q-clips, by all means use a C-clip. And uh, as I said, you can make this as long or as short as you want. That's my Halloweeny one. And this is my little rainbow one. I hope you enjoy making them. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, and before I say that, I love this. It's brilliant.